Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my Essence collection and this was super super requested I think a few videos back when I mentioned that I kind of was thinking that I should do an Essence collection because I feel like in every favorites if you watch them and you're subscribed to me you will know that I always always have like five Essence favorites in my favorites videos, my monthly favorites. Because honestly, I don't think that Essence gets enough credit. I know they're a pretty new company to Canada, and in Germany apparently it's huge. But I think here, they need a lot more recognition. They need somebody to talk about them more. A lot pe more people should be talking about them, because this is an amazing company. So I am going to show you guys everything that I have. I know that a lot of people are asking for this, so I'm going to do it. And this may be a little bit long, I'm not sure yet, because I think I'm going to do some swatches, because a lot of people ask for swatches. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I'm going to start off with their concealer knife two concealers from the first one is this essence forget it concealer this is a three-in-one concealer and right on the pack it tells you what everything does so the pink is for I've talked about this before dark circles and the beige is for blemishes and the green is for against redness this is a really really creamy consistency I'll just swatch a few of these for you on my fingers So there you can see the three colors. They are very, very creamy, and I am obsessed with this product. I use it every, every day. And I definitely think that if you want a concealer that does all three things for you, then definitely check this out. I believe this was about $3. Next off is their cover stick, and this is really, really great. I have no idea why it says that. I think that might be in German. But um, it is in the color Matte Sand, and this is a really great concealer. I am going to show you guys the consistency of this, and you're going to be blown away. So it looks just like this. And so there's it swatched on my hand. So you just simply blend it in. As you can see, it's already covering that little scar on my hand. And literally, it's just disappearing. But it definitely covered that scar really well. This can be used for blemishes, scars, under your eyes if you'd like. I also like it for under my eyes. The next face product I have by them is this Mattifying Compact Powder, and this is in Translucent. And I'm really sad because Essence doesn't have foundation, but hopefully it'll be coming out soon. They actually do have it, I shouldn't say that. They have it in Germany, but they don't have it in Canada. So the next product is the Sun Club Bronzer. This is in the color Sunny for brunettes, let me know. So here's a little swatch of it. So it just looks like that on my finger, and then you can see when I blend it in, it just looks like that. So the next product is a Silky Touch Blush. I have four of these, so I'm going to show you them probably like lightest to darkest, we'll see. Okay, so this one is in 10 Adorable. So there we go, that shows a little bit better. This blush is in the color Baby Doll, and this was the second blush I've ever purchased from them. And then right next to Adorable... There it is. This one I think is a very good one for natural lovers of natural looking makeup. This is in the color Natural Beauty. The last one I have is this one right here. And this was in the color Secret It Girl. It is awesome. Just see how that looks. Yeah, you guys can see that. That is so pigmented, so pretty, so corally. Hey, it's like a dog paw. <laughs> anyway, so this is the Essence Blushes. They're very smooth, good consistency, and they last super long. So I think you guys would really enjoy these. And they are like $2.50, so why not, right? So next off, this is going to be Lip Products. XXL Shine Lip Gloss. This is in the color Nude Candy. I'll just show you guys a swatch. As you can see, they have a kind of weird little flat brush, but I don't mind. It actually fits my lips very well. So there you go, this is a little swatch of that. And this is the next one I have, and this is by the same one, the XXL Shine. This is in the color Sparkling Papaya. Okay, so there's Sparkling Papaya. So this is, I think, the first one I got, the second one I got, I'm not really sure actually. But this one is an interesting color, it is called Glamour to Go. And I will show you what this one looks like. It's very interesting, I have the kind of matching lipstick, I guess you should say. So now I think you can see why I call it interesting is because when you move your hand, obviously on your lips, the color changes a little bit. And this is their Stay With Me Lip Gloss, and let's see what color this is in. This is in Me and My Ice Cream. This is really cute, kind of little Barbie pink. It has a really interesting applicator, as you guys can see. It's kind of... Well, you guys can see that. That's really weird. That is the color. It's very, very cute and kind of Barbie pink. The thing is about this one and the XXL ones, though, is these ones are a little bit sticky and these ones aren't. I just thought I should add that in. Next off is their lipsticks, and I love their lipsticks. They're really great. Which one is this? Oh, there we go. So this is Creamy Nude. I have a love-hate relationship with this one because it's melted, as you guys can probably tell. Ugh. 
it looks gross. So I'm just going to swatch that and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the color right here. It is very nude. It's not a light, light nude like Max Smith or anything, but it is kind of a natural everyday look. It is a little bit metallic and here we go. So this one's called Look At Me and that is what the color looks like and I will swatch that for you. It's very interesting. And this one is in Coralize Me. And this is my favorite, I think. I think. It looks like this. And it goes on so smooth. It's a little more sheer than the other ones, I will say. That's it right there. You can build up the color if you choose. Okay, so starting off with eyes, this is the eyeshadow base. And this is called Stay All Day. It says it's an eyeshadow, actually, but I use it as a base. You can use it how you please. So this is in the color Glammy Goes To, and they have a couple other ones of these that I have tried out, but I did not purchase. They were actually my friends that I tried, but this is the one I decided to go for. It's very pretty on, and I will just swatch it. It's mega pigmented. These remind me of the MAC Paint Pots a little bit. And this is the Color and Shine eyeshadow. I hate how it does that. In the color Mercurius. Mercurius? Mercurius? Let's just go with that. So this is awesome highlighter, awesome for your eyes, awesome for your face. Like, if you love highlight, this is the one for you. So that's what it looks like, and I will swatch that for you guys. And as you can see, it is so pigmented. It's awesome. It lasts a very long time. It's really good to blend. As you can see, it blends out really nicely. Quattro, aka a quad from Essence. This is awesome. This is called Over the Taupe. This is one of the first ones I ever purchased. These are the colors in it right there. And I definitely think that you guys are getting the hint about how pigmented these are. What other finger do I have? There we go. But there are just some swatches on my hands. What I have is this one right here in the color to die for. This is amazing also. I'm loving this. Oh, there we go. What other fingers do I have? There we go. Boom. Okay, should I swatch them all? I don't know. It's going to be really long. We'll figure it out. Chill out. I don't know how to remember this. Okay, so this is a really kind of cool white color. I use this one wet a lot, and there it is. It's very shimmery, has a little bit of shimmer and sparkle in it, and I definitely think this is really good for the inner corner. This is apparently holographic. Um, this is in the color Mystic Purple. So it just looks like that, and as you can see, it's a very interesting shade. I kind of get why they call it kind of holographic. And there that is swatched right there. It's really pretty because it changes color. It's kind of like an opal. Okay, so this is one of the super glittery ones, and this is in the color Dance All Night. I love this. This is super sparkly. And there it is, swatched on my hand. The next color I have here is... Yes, I Can. Ha ha ha, clever. And that is the color swatched. This is beautiful. I am thinking I should do like a sky tutorial just because of this color. This is a very inspiring color. The next one I have is so cute. Oh, that's clever. Now I can go like that. This is called Kermit Says Hello. And that is that beautiful green color right here. Beautiful blue color. And this is called Happy Hour. So this is that color right here, Happy Hour. Boom! Oh my god, that's pretty. I haven't used that in a while. This color right here in Disco Diva. I have every color, by the way, so this is why I figured I should show you guys if you want to buy a specific one. Color right here, and this one is in the color In the Clouds. Ooh, this is one of my favorites for putting under my lash line. Looks like that. And there you go. It is a very soft, shimmery blue. I really like that. And there's this color right here called Hyped Up. This is a shimmer effect as well. As you guys can tell, I don't like to ruin the design. I do it on the sides. Okay, so there's that color. And then there is this one. Shrimp Me Up. This one's so, so cute. I love the names of these too, hey? Definitely use this one a lot, as you can see. Kind of a salmon-y color, which I really like. It's not super pink. It's called Star... Starlight? Yes. Look at that. 
Isn't that just like insane? That's what it looks like. So beautiful. And then there is this one, and this is back to khaki. This is a metallic effect. This one's great. I love this color. So there we go. That is what that one looks like. It's a really nice metallic green. I have this one right here, which is actually the shadow I was wearing today, along with Chill Out. They look super good together. This one is called Back... Black... Can I read? Black Goddess. Okay. So that is it swatched. As you can see, it's really beautiful. Okay, so the next color I have is this one right here. Oh. Metropolitan. And that's what that one looks like. And the next one is this one right here in Olive Garden. And that is the color. And then there is this one in Get Ready. So that is Get Ready. Eyeshadow, this is my all-time favorite. Party All Night. This is amazing. Opinion. And that is what that one looks like. So the next thing I have here for the eyes is a gel liner. And this is by far my favorite gel liner. And this is called Midnight in Paris. This is the black one that they have. It is very creamy, very nice. I will show you the brush that I apply with it in just a moment. It's the Brown Essence Gel Liner. What color is this from London, baby? Yes, London Baby. And this is a really nice everyday brown. The thing I have here is this Essence Eyeliner Pen. And this one is sadly drying out. I'm going to need to get a new one. This is an Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. And this is in the color Coolest Chic. It's one of those wind up ones. And I love this to put under my lashes and in my waterline. Here is interesting. It is the Essence eyebrow stylus set and the packaging is weird I will show you so this is the little brush that it comes with and I actually use this and then underneath are some stencils I don't know if you guys know much about stencils if you'd like a video on how to fill in your eyebrows or do your eyebrows with stencils let me know but these are the colors it comes with I'm not gonna be using this one anytime soon but this one is perfect for me to go along with the brow kit that I have I use this lash and brow gel and yes it looks goopy goopy and yours will too if you get it be unless you don't use eyebrow powder but it just does turn like kind of a brownish color because I have powder in my eyebrows. thing I have is this get big lashes mascara this is volume boost waterproof mascara this is the brush it's huge as you can see has really nice br like bristles and it is awesome it is a little bit messy like I said but this lasts a very long time it is waterproof if you're looking for a good waterproof mascara I have is the I heart extreme volume mascara this is the brush Again, huge. This one's actually, I think, a tiny bit bigger. This one, this is the fastest building, like, volume building mascara you will ever try. I'm talking, uh, like, <laughs> compared to high-end mascaras, I would even choose this. Moving on to brushes. This is the gel liner brush. Next brush is this brush right here, and this is the flat shader brush. This is a really cute purple brush. It's very compact, like all the writing rubbed off because I've used it so much. This is the Essence Crease Brush. It is very, very compact, very dense, and it really goes well into your crease because it's so small. The next brush I have here is this Essence Powder Brush, and this is so cute, right? I love the color of this. It's not amazingly dense, but honestly, for powders, sometimes I like a loose brush. And the last brush I have is this blush brush. This is, so oh my gosh, this is amazing. I think you guys would love this. This is really good because it is angled, and it goes on to your face really, really nicely. Next off, I'm just going to quickly go into nail polish. I'm not going to touch super huge on this because I'm not going to swatch these because I just did my nails yesterday, if you guys didn't notice. Um, yes, yeah, so this is in the color Wake Up. It is very pigmented. I love the color payoff of this, and and it's really, really in to have orange nails. So this is $1.50, guys. So why The next color I have here is, I think, pretty much my favorite. And this one is in the color Modern Romance. This is their glitter. Oh my god, their glitter I die for. This is in the color Space Queen. This is another one I recently picked up. And this is in the color Choose Me. This is a personal favorite. This is great. It is called You Belong to Me. And this is the last color I have. It is so cute, hey? And it is in the color Lime Up. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry about it being so long, but you guys wanted swatches, so I put the swatches in there and that kind of elongated the video, but 
whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this and you found it helpful. If you liked the video and you have any questions or comments or anything, please comment those down below along with your video requests. And if you liked my video, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of August. And also, hmm, what is there to say? My Facebook photography page, my Instagram, my Twitter is all down below always and I hope that you guys will follow me on there and tweet me ideas and things like that. So have an awesome, awesome day guys and I'll see you later.